Number 12 then, from the second paper of the 2014 National Five, the little trick equation. Remember, there's, always, there's going to be two answers, because it's to go through a complete wavelength here. Three marks. Now, it's in degrees, that's shown here. Your calculator's got two more settings in it, radians and grad. If you accidentally have it in one of those modes, you can still get the answers, as long as you know how to deal with the second one. Best thing is, it's in degrees. Make sure your calculator says degrees at the top. Well, apart from that, there's just one thing to find, x. And there's these three things to get rid of. There's a subtract 2, I don't want that. So get rid of that first of all. So that'll be 3 plus 2, which comes to 5. So it's down to 11 cos x equals 5. There's a multiplying 11, which you could have done in one go. So that's going to be 5 divided by 11. Get rid of the 2. Add it, get rid of the 11, divide by it. That's the first mark. How do you get x itself? Well, we'll have to do get rid of the cos. So that's inverse of cos. So inverse cos of 5 elevenths. That's not worth a mark. It's not worth a mark until you get your first answer. So it all depends how you do it. You may consider the graph. The cosine graph looks like this. The cosines to get up to 5 elevenths, it's almost halfway up. There'll be an answer here, but there'll be another answer way over there. And they're symmetrically placed to 360. Whatever distance that one is in, it'll be the same distance back. This answer and the answer of the same amount away from 360. Or you might use the analogue of the graphs. The all sine tan cos, the cast diagram, which simply again just tells you when it's above and when it's below. So in this one, the cosine is positive, which means it's either going to be in the first quadrant or it's going to be in the fourth quadrant, just like the graph shows you here. It's positive in the first quarter, not the second, not the third, but in the fourth one. That's what this analogue diagram, the cast diagram shows you. The acute angle would go in here, but the actual angles are the amounts round from the horizontal anticlockwise. That's your first answer. Way all the way around is your second answer. And what is that acute angle? Well, you just take the actual value here. If there had been a negative, you'd have ignored it. You'd have done inverse cos of the actual value itself and let this diagram tell you where to put it. So, making sure it's in degrees. And there's no need to work out 5 elevenths as a decimal, because all your calculators have got these fractions button now. You just press the button and you get this first answer, which is 62 point, I'll put it over here, 62.964 and so on. Rounding that off to one decimal place is 63.0 degrees. Oh, you may get away just with saying 63. So 63.0, that's worth a mark. The other one would be taking that from 360 to find the other one. Equals that, or maybe I'll put the working down, 360 minus 63.0, which equals 297.0 degrees. That's your third mark. Now, looking at the marking scheme, it's actually been very generous in this question if you accidentally had that set in the wrong setting. So that if instead of it being in degrees, you set it into radians, and then did that, and press the button, you would get, oh, 1.0898. You'll still get the mark. They're not going to penalise you, but well, they should really, but they're not going to penalise the mistake. But you would never think of how to get the second mark, how many read, because that's in radians, of how many radians it is all the way around. But they're letting you off with taking that away from 360 for the second mark whereas it should be taken away from however many radians it is for a complete turn. So you could mess this up and still get the marks, as long as you put down all the working. Another thing is that this degree sign's here. Remember, x itself is just a number, it's already got the degree sign, so it's okay to write this. x degrees is 63 degrees, you know, keeping the degree signs in. Or at this stage I could have said x would be, and if I knock that out, I'd have to knock them out, because... Strictly speaking, the answer is just x is 63 or x is 297, not 63 degrees or 297 degrees. But that's a fine point that they don't bother with at this level here, so I'll just keep these degree signs in all the time.